Oh gosh. Jeez, that thing's heavy. Well guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Justin. And uh, today is the sad day that I've broken my Lego church to build a bank. Oh jeez, that sounded atheist. And uh, I'm just gonna give you guys a quick review of this thing. So yeah, let's get right into it. So when you look at this thing, the first thing you notice is probably this fountain. Or this gargoyle-ish looking thing. But anyways, on the outside, there's just a few different things. There's of course the stone steps leading up to the bank itself. There's also this window design here, which I'll give you a better look at in a second. I mean, the design just doesn't look too great, because it was supposed to look like a half circle. But it's half decent, and it looks okay with the rest of the stuff here. So I decided to keep that. Then also on the roof, we have this same design going all the way along. And uh, speaking of the roof, we have a little guy there. Sorry about the camera blur. And I'll show you that in a second. But uh, just a few designs going along here. This is actually an inverted horse armor piece, which was kind of cool. And uh, yeah, I'll show you that guy in a second. Now you might be wondering what this giant ugly hole is on the roof, and it's supposed to be a chimney, but actually, if you wind it up, it looks like somebody was using it as a direct passage into the vault, and it looks like he has no money, so I guess the heist was not successful. So starting here with the first floor interior, we have that plant, the receptionist desk, some tile designs, and a few other things, and actually, this desk here has an illegal building technique where you stick a door in between two of those lever sockets. I don't actually know what the piece is called. You got a dude handing the invisible man some money. And uh, let's just show you the other stuff down here. Well, looks like we had to move Bobby the desk clerk over to there due to some unforeseen circumstances. Flashback. And, oh my gosh. And. So here's what's on the other side of that wall, anyway. And um, this is actually a lockable bank vault door. And if you turn it to the right angle, you can unlock it. And also, if you slide that over, you can get into the vault from roof access. And that's how the criminal was getting in there and stealing all my freaking gold. So without further ado, let's get to the top floor. So this is the second floor, and up here we have the stairwell, we have a chandelier, the bathroom, a bank manager's office, and we also have this chimney, which also acts as a direct passage into the vault. And let me get you a better look at those rooms really quick. So this is the bank manager's office, here we have the bank manager himself, he has a desk and also this fireplace with a random note hanging on it, and then over there in the wall is a little hole. I don't know if you can see that, but I'll demonstrate to you what that does in a second. Now this is a fun little thing you can mess around with, where you push money down into the vault from the bank manager's office, like so. So this is the bathroom. There's nothing really special up here except for this mirror element that I use for every sink I build. And um, just the basic stuff you have in a bathroom, toilet and sink. And yeah, that's pretty much the end of this one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you want to subscribe, please do that. And comment down below what I should do next. Goodbye.